Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, Dora Up Increase. My name is Nate Denise, for those of you who are new to the channel or who just happened to stumble across this video. And I post new videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday all about my faith, God, Christ, and expanding the kingdom of God. So today's video is, as the title says below, going to possibly be my last Delilah box for a while, which is sad. Um, I'm a little sad about that, but it is okay. It's okay. It's okay, right? So... If you guys have not seen my previous unboxings of the Delilah box, go check them out. I believe I have three, December, January, February, and now this one is the March bag, which I'm so excited for. But um, I do want to mention that the website is no longer called the Delilah box. You can look up the Delilah box and it'll take you to the old website. But now it is called graceanddelilah.com. So I will leave the link down below. Pricing and everything is the same, but they did add on um, soaps and candles and other things like that, which I think is awesome. The new Instagram as well has changed. It is no longer the Delilah box. It is now Shop Grace and Delilah. So the Delilah box pretty much uh, follows the same kind of ordeal that it did before, just on the new website, which is graceanddelilah.com. So check out my previous videos. I don't want this video to be super, super long. Um, it is March 21st as I am making this video, the first day of spring, and we are also in the midst of this COVID-19. I did make a video. It was just a quick video that I recorded through the YouTube app and then post it up um, just expressing my thoughts and my feelings because I honestly believe that people are just being ridiculous right now in this time in the season and um, it's sad to see so many people have to die for people to really um, truly understand what's going on but that is neither here nor there if you want to see that video click the on the screen but this is for the unboxing of the Delilah box I believe this is my last one and I saw the box like what's going to be in the box for um April and I like almost shed a tear because I was a little sad but um yeah so these are what the Delilah boxes come in now they're really bags but she still calls them boxes she used to make boxes but now she does bags and let me grab my other three bags for you guys her bags are like stunning and she sews these by hand okay these are hand sewn bags um so this one was the December one that I received, and it's just red with white snowflakes. Then for January, I received this love. And then for February, I got Charlie Brown. Charlie Brown. It's not really Charlie Brown. It's called Peanuts, but I say Charlie Brown. Um, Snoopy and all the other characters as well. So these bags I do use as book covers when I'm out and about and I have like a humongous book or if I'm taking more than one book, I will stick them inside of that bag with my pens and be out the door. So I do use those as book sleeves and book covers for my books on the go. But when I saw the bags for March, I was like commenting and I said that the donuts look real yummy and I would love a bag. And I got the donut bag. You guys, it's donuts on it. That is so, I love donuts donuts are amazing they're so good but um, i'm so excited so i have not opened this and i've had this bag for about two days i think it arrived friday or was it thursday it arrived thursday and today's saturday so i had it for a minute and i've been wanting to get into it this bag smells so good and i did see the preview of things that she was going to put in here oh my god it smells like lavender gas yeah, i don't understand it's so good okay so i'm not looking in um so there's a box so the first thing here is this box here and i think these are the earrings because she did post up that she was going to put earrings inside of the boxes this time around yes um they are adorable actually they're really cute i might not wear them as earrings i might just wear them as like pens on my clothes but um here are the earrings and it says the delilah box on them mines are pink with the white polka dots and the backs just look like that so i mean i could wear them as earrings let me see. I'm I'm not a fan of these kind of earrings, but I think it would be cute as like a pin on a shirt or if I'm like wearing a button up. Yeah, I don't really care for these on me per se, but I could definitely see me like wearing it as like a shirt pin on a cute shirt. You know, like if I have like a button up or just a basic black shirt, I could like pop this on or like if I had a black button up with a collar. Yes, that's what I'm thinking. I'm going to do um definitely going to repurpose these i'm not really a fan of earrings like that i kind of like to keep my earrings tiny and small or do hoops but um these are still pretty enough i think they would be great if you have like a little girl or a little niece or anything like that but we have those which i'm here for okay 
I mean, the bag alone just makes me excited, okay? Okay, so, yes, this next thing is something I was super, super excited for because um, it is literally just lavender inside of this bag. So, it's just a little baggie with uh, lavender in it. If you guys can see that, it's straight up lavender. It smells so darn good, and if you guys don't know, I'm a fan of lavender. The color lavender, of course, as well as the smell and the flower of lavender. Um, I think it's like the prettiest scent, the prettiest flower ever, and the prettiest color. So I'm going to see if I can utilize this somehow, some way, um, because this is amazing. So we have some lavender in here. I want to know if these are um, edible, because I know that some people do buy actual like lavender in like Whole Foods and stuff and use it to cook, and I am... I love lavender lattes. I haven't had one in a minute. Um, I probably should make one tonight. But <laughs> anyway, I digress. I want to see if I can use these. If not, then I'll just probably keep them in the pouch by my bed. Because it smells so good. It smells so good. Okay, moving on. Okay, wow. These are a lot bigger than I thought. So when I saw these, I was thinking wax melts. If you guys don't know, I was really, really big on wax melts. I love candles, but then I found out about wax melts, and then I found out about diffusers, so now I'm, like, on a diffuser kick. But, um, wax melts used to come like this, and they were, like, really tiny, but I can't really smell it through here, but this is so pretty. It makes me not want to use it, but I believe this is hand soap. I don't know. I believe this is hand soap. I'm not going to get the information right now. I'll tell you guys in a second. This is a decal. It's a heart with a cross. I might stick this on my new phone case let me see because i bought a phone like a, just a basic phone case let me just grab it it's a clear one so i want to see because i've no it's too big oh nope okay we're that's scratched that i'll just keep this for a notebook or something but it is in my favorite color of course lavender like okay so next we have this um it is a instruction card about your decal. So this is a decal, and here's the instructions for it. So that's cute. I'm going to keep those together. Um, then this, these are wildflowers. Awesome. Um, these are seeds. Yes. Packet contains fresh seed from Ameri from America's finest wildflower seed source, the Vermont Wildflower Farm. So it tells you when to plant and then how to plant. So awesome. I'm going to keep these on hand because I do, um, we are planning to move into a house and I do want to be able to like plant flowers. So I'm excited for this. That's great. I like how this bag has like a lot of spring stuff. Um, okay. Next is the notepad. This one is green with, um, Psalms 31 verses 14 and 15 and it has a cross on it. Um, again, um, I love notepads. You always gonna need a notepad and a pen. I'm just saying. Speaking of pens, here it is. This is a new one. Um, this one is red and uh, it says the Lila box on it with the old website, and it's nice. It's a nice pen. Regular clicker with um, the stylus at the end. I think that's so cool that she has it that way. Let's see. So there is always candy, and I love it. I love that she always has candy. So um, she has. These two pieces of candy, not sure what they are, but she has some of these Smarties. I love Smarties, so I will be eating these after um, I make this video. Just saying. Okay, so I think that's it as far as, like, the loose items in the bag, right? Yes, okay, then the rest of this is, like, papers in the book. So, there's two books. I know what they are, but I still want to, like, not know what they are, if that makes sense. So, you get your um, Grace and Delilah March 2020. Um, so I think she still has a website, the, the Delilah box, so you can probably still click on it, um, and go there. But this is just the letter from Miss Taylor Hill. Um, and inside, it's just for March 2020, so it says Grace and Delilah. And it's literally just a note from her with some, like, fun little things you can do. Um, then... This talks about the update. So it says there have been some exciting revisions in the past month with the Delilah box. The box itself isn't changing, but she created a new website called Grace and Delilah will, where they will sell the Delilah subscription box as well as candles, soaps, and um, previous books that you've missed out on at discounted price, which is awesome because I've seen a few of the books that she has um, done in the past that I really want to get my hands on. So I think that is awesome that she's doing that um so yeah if you notice some new books and they are marked sold out this is because it is the following month's feature book and we aren't listing them for sale until the subscribers go out so you can get, go to the if you go to her website um grace and delilah you can there's going to be like a pop-up where you can get 10 percent off but on this card there is a 15 percent off code which is awesome 
awesome awesome awesome um talks about the email the phone number and things like that so that is pretty awesome there and then here's the information for the delilah box so um you get your brochure and your candy which i got the cloth drawstring bag the decal which is this heart um the earrings which are in this box the notepad and pen got that um the wildflower seed package i'm definitely going to keep my hands um keep this on hand for myself a lavender sachet bag this is gardenia goat's milk soap so i'm excited to use this especially with all the craziness going on with covid this will be a nice thing to use um and then okay let's get into the two books which i know what they are because i already own one of the books of course but i'm working on a giveaway for when i get to 3,000 subscribers so here is the bag close up i love these i love this pink donut and that blue donut and that donut minus the cherry i just i love the colors on here and the fabric she uses is really like awesome so yes we have another bag but like flames in the light like flames in the night excuse me by connie lynn cassette and i have my reading blog it should be posted already i read this book gave it five stars loved it so much this is the conclusion to cities of refuge with mariah and derek my heart my heart cannot bear that it's over it's it's over you guys the series is over but connie does have a duology starting i believe she has the release of her new duology starting in the winter so i'm super excited about that but yes like flames in the night book four of the cities of refuge series if you have not read it i suggest you read it um you don't technically have to read the series in order but i personally would say read it in order um i really didn't though i read shelter in the shelter of the most high which is book two first and then i went back and read book one then i read book three and book four um as they came out but yes biblical fiction super excited and then the last book here is called of mess and moxie it's wrangling the light out of this wild and glorious life i really like the cover of this though the cover is gorgeous it is hardcover let's see what it looks like under the dust jacket it's just yellow yellow with um i don't know if that's like orange or red but it's really pretty um and this is going to be non-fiction of course um do i want to read all of this i'm trying to see if i can get like a quick blurb about it so i didn't even say who it was by it's by jen hatmaker jen hatmaker it says moxie noun informal the ability to face difficulty with spirit and courage sass determination pluck that girl's got moxie. So it says that Jen believes backbone is the birth of every woman. Women have been demonstrating resiliency and resolve since forever. They have incredible strong shoulders to bear loss, hope, grief, and vision. She laughs at the days to come is how the ancient wisdom writings put it. But somehow women have gotten the message that pain and failure mean that they must be doing things wrong, that they messed up the rules or tricks for a seamless life. As it turns out, every last woman faces confusion, loss, missteps, and catastrophic malfunctions. No matter how much she is doing right, struggle doesn't mean she's weak, it means she's alive. So Jen Hatmaker offers another round of hilarious tales, frank honesty, and hope for women who has forgotten her moxie. Whether discussing the grapple with change or the time she drove to the wrong city for a fourth grade field trip, Jen parlays her own triumphs and tragedies into sigh of relief for all normal fierce women everywhere who, like her, sometimes hide in the car eating crackers, not, sorry, sometimes hide in the car eating crackers, but also want to get up and get back out to live undaunted in the moment, no matter what the moments hold. That is awesome. And this is from Thomas Nelson, published by Thomas Nelson, rather. I'm excited to read this. I don't, like I said, know much about it. There are a total of 23 chapters. So this definitely could be like a daily, not a daily devotional, but like a daily reading type of thing, which is pretty cool. I don't know who um, Jen Hatmaker is whatsoever. Here she is on the back. So that's who she is. Don't know who she is, but um, I'm excited to dive into this. She starred in the popular series, My Big Family um, Renovation. So, okay interesting got it so we have that so i'm super excited and happy with my last box i'm so sad that it's the last box i have to figure out how i can get my hands on the march because she has um one of angela hunt's newest books coming out in, Mar in the i said march the april box excuse me she has angela hunt's newest release coming in the april um box so i have to figure a way to get that because i want it so bad but Again, do I recommend the Delilah box? Yes, I do. Every month you're getting 
great useful items i mean I, i'm not a planter i don't plant but i mean these are gonna be great um soap everybody needs soap everybody needs some type of soap okay um lavender i'm i'm a fan of lavender so maybe you might not need lavender but i do it is i could just sniff this all day it's a little weird but yeah um you know cute little things that you can stick on to just to remember i mean candy i, I like candy i'm a candy i'm a candy addict okay um earrings are great you have pens and paper um little notes from her which i love do i recommend it totally 100 percent recommend the delilah box to those who are looking for a new book box that is christian based you always get two to three books i know i've seen some people complain that they've only received two books or some people said that they got three or something like that it on her website it says you will get two to three books a month um if you follow her on instagram you're pretty much gonna know what books you're getting for the month because she posts up the information of what books you're getting and um the extra bits and bobs that you're going to get it's always on her instagram so you're never really um not gonna know what it is unless you just don't want to check her instagram but um personally i really think what taylor is doing is phenomenal i want to again thank taylor for sending me these bags these boxes for free um just to share with you ladies and to get it out there i think what she's doing is phenomenal i think the pricing is great great 29 dollars. come on out i think it's 29 dollars, and the um domestic shipping is five dollars if i'm not mistaken you can do them on a um uh, you can subscribe through, I think it's yearly, six months and three months, if I'm not mistaken. But the monthly subscription is $29. Um, and I mean, $29, these two books alone is more than $29. This book here is $16 and this book here is $23. You do the math, okay? So you're basically paying for two books with shipping and then you're getting a bunch of other stuff for free. That, that's awesome in my opinion. I like book boxes, but my thing with book boxes is they don't always send you useful items. And um, what I found about the two book boxes that I'm subscribed to, or one, I'm not subscribed to them, but I've been receiving them for review, is um, the things that Taylor sends, one, edify your spirit, definitely edify your spirit. Two, they are enjoyable, because I mean, biblical fiction is always enjoyable. Three, they also have things that are useful that are going to be used and not just be lounging around. Um, and I said this in a previous video, I'm subscribed to a another book box which is called the Jean book nerd book box that i talk about on my book channel and even with that box i love that um Jean works on giving me items in the boxes that are going to be useful whether it be mugs t-shirts um tote bags um you know cards to play with like she never sends anything that is not going to be used and i don't think that it's smart when book boxes do that um just because it's stuff that just piles up and you get trinkets that just pile and pile and pile everything i've received from the delilah box so far have either been read i stole to someone else because obviously i have all of these books so duh but um you know everything that she's ever sent i use excuse me i am a little parched pardon me but um yeah i think it's great and i i definitely would recommend you ladies check it out even if it's if it's not for yourself if it's for a gift for someone else definitely check it out she also does birthday cards um if you're giving it to someone as a birthday gift but um i think that's it for this video for now so i'm going to end it here i'm going to go and eat me some dinner yes dinner 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 and um plot my next video my next video probably that you'll see in april will be a look book look makeup tutorial i am going to be working on one for star of persia because i recently just read that book and i know i said the first one was going to be on delilah by angela hunt but i'm just i'm not in the mood to do that right now so i'm just gonna keep going so yeah we're gonna do um star of persia next and then i may do a another one i'm trying to debate which book i want to do next i got so many books over there but if you haven't seen the one i did on daughter of rome click here on the screen for that but other than that this video is done again if you want to see the previous unboxings i've done for the delilah box just click the on the screen to go watch the previous one and um yeah i'll see you guys in the next video if you are not subscribed subscribe join the family i am almost at 3,000 subscribers it is crazy to even like look at think about that number i've never thought that number possible honestly because i've been on youtube for so long but um i am grateful to god for the growth with this channel and being able to edify you guys and for you guys to be able to glean from this channel and then take it and then go out and branch and do your own stuff it is always amazing to hear you hear from you guys 
um i am a little slow getting back to comments i know i got a thousand comments to get to i am going to make it a goal to get to everybody's comment before the end of the month i'm going to respond back to every comment before the end of the month fingers crossed um but yeah if you have any video ideas that you would want me to do let me know book reviews videos whatever but um yeah i'm gonna end it here so again if you are not a part of the family become a daughter of increase or a son of increase and if you are a part of the family click the bell to stay notified and i'll see you guys in the next video bye